Okay, this turned out to be a bit of a three and a half day at the park, as we shall see, especially for me. So, we start with what I've ever seen is the smallest three and a half loco I've ever seen at the park. I know we've had smaller, I haven't seen smaller. My brother's little three and a half freelance take on a Rustin. Very underpowered at present. 24 volts, but only a 30 watt garage door motor on a gear, worm drive gearbox. But it did manage a lap. Uh, my little 3D printed wagon in front and behind. Uh, possibly a smaller driving trolley would have helped. But it will be getting an uprated motor in the near future. Onwards then to David's LBSC Iris. Uh, never driven one of these before. Driven a few LBSCs before, but never an Iris. The only other one I've ever seen uh, running being Danny Hayward's red one. Well, absolutely cracking, well sorted loco this is. Um, the axle pump is just on all the time. It maintains boiler level absolutely superbly, and the pressure doesn't really move. It's running very notched up from the start. The regulator is super responsive. The blower is very nice. It fires like an absolute dream. Very minor bit of wear in the rods, which is the clicking. I wouldn't call it a rattle, it's just a little click. But what an absolute dream of a loco. Now I've been reading Eddie's book, his new LBSC book, about how this came together. It's something like a Molly chassis, Maisie cylinders with a GW boiler plonked on the top. But to my eyes, very GWR collet ish, except with the outside cylinders. But I think they're absolutely cracking little engines. I would have one in a heartbeat. This thing steams like an absolute witch. And he's so controllable on the fire. So I'm just going to leave the door open now to shut her safeties up. And there they go. And then, just to keep her calm again, we'll chuck some more cold coal on it and dampen her down. Because she does not need an excuse to make all of the steam in the world. She's not very heavy. And she does not need a bigger blast nozzle. Because she makes all the power she could ever want. And doesn't use a lot of coal to do it. For her size and weight. As a little play engine, I couldn't imagine much better. To be honest, I'm a little bit jealous of this iris and how well it runs. So it's only got the one trolley on with me and David, its owner. David formerly of Bristol Club, now a member of Maidstone. So what you can hear me nattering about now is our proposed seven and a quarter track. Um, so the axle pump does keep up with the boiler usage, but a couple of little hand pumps don't go miss every now and then. Shut the regulator as you go over the top, and look, she's blowing off again. Remember, this is against her axle pump and maintaining boiler level. Wonderful little engine. Nice glow from the fire down there. And control it with the door. It's an absolutely dream of an engine, of a little engine to drive. I think anybody could drive this. Some people are scared of three and a half. But this proves there's no reason to be scared of three and a half. This engine is cracking. That was me getting the regulator the wrong way. And look, she's blowing off again. You, you can't shut this engine up. It's brilliant. David didn't build it, but whoever did build it got its proportions of everything. I mean, it's LBSC, but whoever built it has thoroughly sorted this thing out. Such a sweet little thing. I then proceeded to just keep going on it. I was on it for quite a little while and I couldn't resist taking this, uh, what I'd call a pacing shot, but 
just off board looking at her. I'm gonna shut up for a little bit. And now on to Andy's Spitfire. Uh, I haven't driven it since he's had a lot of work done to it. And it is a totally different engine to when I last drove her. Credit where it's due. Right, in summary then. Three and a half is great fun. And weirdly, I didn't drive a five inch engine this day. I haven't had it before. Well, I've been driving other people's engines. And they've just been three and a half. So what a cracking fun day. Three and a half is a great fun gauge. The engines are very manageable in both cost, size, and weight. Don't be put off, people. Three and a half is great fun.